I've noticed her breathing has got really heavy. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's got a massive hernia and her organs have come out of her abdomen into her chest. Without this risky surgery, Misty Blue probably won't survive and there's a chance she won't survive the surgery either. We must have a leak somewhere. At the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, Faith and little Hugo have brought in a tiny five-week-old kitten. She wasn't eating, so I've been syringe feeding her for about two weeks, but I've noticed her breathing has got really heavy. I don't know what's wrong with her. She might have pneumonia or something, but I do anything to save her. Hello, I'm Hi. Lisa. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. I'm Faith, this is Hugo. Hello, who's here? Misty? Misty Blue. Okay, bring her through. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something special, something special about her. And I just think it, she was brought to me for a reason. So I just hope nothing too bad is wrong. So what happened? Well, I got her from the pound yep. um, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, I saved her from death row and her mum was put to sleep because she had the cat flu. Mm -hmm. So we had two really good days of her eating mm -hmm. but then I just noticed her breathing. Okay. Last night, and I thought, well, it's getting worse, and then I, I thought I'd bring her in because it's, it was quite shallow. Well, let's pop her up on the table. As soon as Faith takes Misty Blue out of the blanket and puts her on the table, I can tell straight away that her breathing is not normal. She's got so much abdominal effort, her chest is moving so much more than it should be, and this little kitten has got something seriously wrong. So she's obviously not been able to run around as no, much as I've some never of the other kids. I've never seen had. her run. Mm -hmm. She'll play with a stick. But she, she's, she's pretty quiet. Yeah, she's quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I imagine she's not going to be able to do much with her breathing like that. I'm just going to take a listen. It's all right, little girl. Okay, there's definitely something sounding abnormal there. All right, so it's pretty obvious that she's not breathing normally. When I listen to her chest, I'm actually hearing gut sounds. So that concerns me a little bit because the gut sounds should be in the abdomen. So she might actually have like a hole in her diaphragm and her organs have come out of her abdomen into her chest. Um, so how would that have happened to her this young? At, at this young, it, it may have been something that she has had from birth. From my examination, a diaphragmatic hernia would be at the top of the list, but other possibilities would include fluid in her chest, some sort of a mass, an infection. Without taking some x-rays, I'm not going to be able to tell. Is there a chance she can be saved? Look, if it's, if it's a diaphragmatic hernia, or if she's got some sort of hernia into her chest space, the only way that we can really fix it is to do surgery. But she's so little. Okay. She's tiny. Oh, that is not good. She's got a massive hernia. So she's just got all these abdominal contents in her chest with this tiny little bit of lung and no wonder why she can't breathe normally. That is shocking. That's really bad. We're going to have to tell your mum. It doesn't look very good, sweetness. No. The only treatment for Misty Blue's condition is surgery and it's pretty risky for such a tiny little kitten. I'm going to go tell Faith the news and I hope that she's ready for the commitment. Hey, baby. Okay, so we managed to take the x-rays. She was a very good little girl for them. Um, and they do confirm that she's got a diaphragmatic hernia. Now what that basically is, is that there is a hole in her diaphragm and her abdominal organs, um, so intestines and possibly even a bit of liver, have come through this hole from her abdomen and they're sitting in her chest. Okay. So that's why she's breathing so hard because she's trying to use all her energy to make that tiny little bit of lung work because there's just no space for the rest of the lungs. And you know, it's not something that she's going to get better with. 
if we do nothing. And in fact, her breathing is just going to get worse and worse. And if more organs go from her abdomen into her chest and take up even more space, then the amount of lungs she's got to breathe with is going to be even less. And, and you know, she may not survive that. Oh, she's so beautiful. Just, she's come this far, you know, from the pound. I just wanted to have a chance. Well, she's lucky to have you, and I, you brought her here, and, and this is her best shot. And she's purring. She's got a big operation tomorrow. We're going to look after her, I promise. Breaking this news to Faith is so difficult. She's so connected and attached to Misty Blue. She loves her with all her heart. And now she knows that without this risky surgery, Misty Blue probably won't survive. And there's a chance she won't survive the surgery either. What a huge step Faith has to take. I love you, Misty. Okay, let's tuck her into bed. We'll look after her, I promise. Okay, we're gonna look after your little one. Okay, we make a promise to your mum. We'll do our best to get you through this. Okay, lovely. You go in here. I love you, Bobby. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. I know. The team at SASH are about to start the urgent operation to repair Tiny Misty Blue's massive hernia. Good girl, Misty. Very brave. Hopefully we can fix you. Specialist surgeon Dr Steve Burnside will be carrying out the delicate procedure. The reality is with this surgery that she could die at any time. Um, unfortunately, being so small, being compromised to start with, it, it really is touch and go. Here we go, girls. Yep, holding. Let's do it. The clock is ticking. Making an incision, girls. The hole in the diaphragm has resulted in Misty Blue's organs being in the wrong spot. All right, trying to find a kidney. Spleen, where's the spleen? Everything that should be in its abdomen is now in its chest. Suddenly, there is a problem. What's that, man? We must have a leak somewhere. We can't ventilate unless we have a seal. Come on, Misty Blue. Hold in there, Tiger. She's just tiny. It's like anesthetising a little mouse. And our equipment's for, you know, bigger dogs and bigger cats. But we can't ventilate unless we have a seal. OK, sorted. Dr. Steve Burnside is halfway through the process of moving Misty Blue's organs out of her chest cavity. I think we've got everything out. Now, I've just got to be careful here to stitch everything out. And back into the tiny kitten's abdomen. The abdomen's never had all those organs in it before. Everything is just so small in here. Everything uh, just doesn't fit. It's just, it's just so small. I'm not trying to rush you guys, but she's not doing that well, no, so... No, no, mate. I'm almost closed. Yeah, we kind of need to be done right now. Ooh, righty. Let's get her out of there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Things have gone pretty well. It's a bit dicey, but hopefully this has been enough to uh, to give her a successful future because uh, she certainly was going to be in trouble without it. Well done, team. So we're just waiting for her to recover now. It's gone smoothly and she's holding in, but it's it, it's pretty touch and go here because um, she's been through a lot in the last half hour or so. And uh, this is obviously when, it, when things can go pear-shaped as well. There are a few uh, tense moments to be had yet, I think. Her breathing? Yeah. Wow. Mm. It's much slower and deeper. She's yeah. taking. She's actually breathing properly. Yeah, first really time in her breath. life. Um, mm. This is remarkable. She's actually taking these breaths by herself and they're just slow and rhythmic. Whereas yeah. before it was. <laughs> now she's actually able to take a deep breath, you know. Mm. 
Must be a hell of a feeling. Well done, team. That's great. Good, Good job. job. Misty says thanks, Steve. Little Misty, she's a true champion. She's a real fighter because uh, I have to say I had my reservations about whether she'd make it through this, but uh, she's, a, she's a tough little kitten. That's no doubt about that. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, it's nice to see you back, girls, isn't it? <laughs> I know. We need to give you some pain relief. Good girl, Misty. Are you all right? Hey? But you just stay with us and keep fighting. It would be a shame to get this far. She's a little fighter, a real little fighter. Brave little Misty Blue has astounded Dr. Steve Fernside and the team. Tough little critter, aren't you, hey? Against the odds, the tiny five-week-old kitten has made it through life-saving surgery. How'd it go? Hey, Elise. Good. Oh, she's Here alive. she is. Here she is. Now, look, it all went really well. I mean, the hernia was the biggest part. The hernia was huge. The cat was small. Oh. It was not uh, without its moments, but she's doing really well. I mean, she's yeah, so she far looks she's recovering like she's well, breathing beautifully. and she's breathing so much better. So. That's a good start. Good job. Anyway, she's got a little way to go yet, but um, so far we're, we're optimistic. It's good. It's great news. She's nowhere near out of danger, but the hardest part is done, and I've just got high hopes now that she's going to pull through this one. Two very special visitors, Faith and Hugo, can't wait to see their precious little girl. Oh, my baby girl. She's so fine. Hi, baby. You see Hello. how much better the breathing is? Yeah. When I said goodbye to her yesterday, I didn't think I was going to see her. She's got a long <laughs> way to go, but so far she's definitely taking steps in the right direction. So she got through the hardest part. The though, hardest part. Yeah. Oh, you precious little thing. <laughs> go, Misty. <laughs> Misty power. Hey, gorgeous girl. Brave little Misty Blue has amazed everyone. Hey, you're playing like a normal kitten. She's fully recovered from major surgery to repair her massive hernia. And it's a big day. Misty, are you ready to go home? Are you showing me that you're ready to go home? Misty is doing so much better. She's bright, she's eating well, she's breathing normally, she's even putting on weight, and she's behaving like a normal kitten, which is what I was waiting for her to do. So I think she's ready to go home. Aren't you gorgeous, girl? We're gonna miss you. Your mummy is gonna be very happy to have you back. How exciting to get it back for your birthday. Mm -hmm. She can give you birthday snuggles. <laughs> Snuggles. Hello, kiss here. Misty. Hi, Oh my god, she's so cuter than ever. <laughs> oh, she's still got that little. Oh, she's got chubby. <laughs> chubby, chubby. Hello, baby girl. Oh, she's purring already. <laughs> Look who's here. Birthday, Hugo. Yeah. Well, this is sort of a good a birthday it's a, present. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this present ever. Best present ever. Oh, she's mm. hugging him. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Why don't you show Misty what you've got for her to take her home in? Look. Little snuggle. Hugo's made you this beautiful bed to go home in. We've all fallen in love with her. <laughs> hey, are we going to miss you, little Misty? <laughs> the looks on Faith and Hugo's faces are absolutely priceless. They are grinning from ear to ear and they are showering her with cuddles. They just cannot believe that after all this time, after everything that Misty Blue has gone through, they are finally taking her home. Well, stay in touch. Good luck. You guys will be fine. She's very lucky to have Thank you. Thank you so much. She's a lucky girl. <laughs>
Okay then. See you here, Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Little, little bow. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com, and you can do so via the link in the description.